When you turn your machine on, you are going to be brought right to the utility stitches and the stitch number two this with the center needle position will be selected. Now before you get started, one thing I always recommend because we use it quite a bit is to check out the sewing advisor down here. If you don't know what fabric you should be using, select fabric B. Now if you touch the sewing machine, this will identify what each of those symbols mean and we'll go through this in detail with the video on the sewing advisor. But the reason it's important is because as you pick different um, stitches, that can actually change a few of the settings based on what fabric is actually selected. For example, when I have a stitch for a straight stitch selected and I'm on a medium woven fabric, this stitch length is two and a half. If I pick it for a lightweight fabric, that stitch length changes to two. So just kind of be aware that if you're on different fabrics, some of these settings might not be exactly the way mine look when we do the videos. So for selecting different stitches, whatever is selected, notice it turns gray and that stitch is shown in the sewing area. This is actual size. So if you're a very visual person, Person, you'll be able to tell how big a stitch is or if you make it bigger you can actually see the changes on screen at a full width. Seven millimeters wide is as wide as this machine will stitch. Now for different stitches you will, you will want to come up to the stitch menu button and here is where you can get to all the different menus. So for example menu A is all the utility stitches and then there's an A1, A2, and A3. These are like little sub menus and it will quickly get, give you more stitches, three pages total of utility stitches. So this is one way to to select stitches and as you notice until I pick a stitch on another screen the one that I have still selected is shown so until I pick for example stitch 30 on menu 2a then that will show another way to pick stitches is just to scroll through them page by page so this will take us to the a3 and then beyond that to the buttonhole menu which is the b menu and further into the c menu if we go here the stitch menu lets us jump quicker to other areas throughout the machine a lot quicker for example the quilting stitches in menu e if you go to the first stitch in menu e you'll notice it says one quarter inch. And if I pick that, it's a straight stitch moved to the right. And that is a perfect quarter inch stitch using your A foot as a, uh, along the edge as a guide. There's some other wonderful quilting stitches. And once again, you have sub menus E1, 2, 3, and 4. So there's lots of stitches in there. So more than what you just see on these little uh, menu areas. That's kind of a nice way to kind of group stitches together that Husqvarna Viking have made. Now some of these stitches, for example, if I go into, how about our K menu, and I'll pick a nice big stitch. Look at how big these stitches are. Remember I said it was actual size? Yes, that's how big it's going to stitch. Down here it says it's 23 millimeters wide, and it needs a foot that is suitable for sideways motion stitches. So as you pick these stitches, you're gonna see you have quite a few very cool stitches. And I always recommend that you take some time to stitch out each of your menus so you know what you have in this machine. If you don't, well, you're gonna miss out on some of the cool things because you're not gonna realize how cool they really are until you see them on the fabric. So when you wanna go back to a regular straight stitch, you can, number one, turn your machine off, or number two, just go back up to the stitch menu button, touch menu A, and touch stitch two. That's the center needle position of a straight stitch. So it's very easy to get around the machine, and I wanna show you a lot more about what each of these stitches actually does.